The cistern is possibly the most confusing level in the first Tomb Raider game. But hopefully I can explain it clearly to you how to get through. So push this block rather than pulling it out, because you'll need it to get up in the next room. Then push it to the right. And pull the lever at the top, which will release two rats into the room. You can shoot with your pistols. Collect the large medipack at the end of this hallway. And then drop down here and make your way into the main room. Now there are two rats and crocodiles down there, but we're not going to take care of those just yet. We'll get to them in a bit. Instead, jump over here and take out the rat, and then shimmy all the way along just to pick up some shotgun shells. You can watch as the rats below try to get to you. Now if you followed my other videos, you'll have seen that I haven't been using any of the other weapons except for the default pistols. I'm going to be doing that for the whole game. But if you also do the same and fancy using the other weapons later on, you can because the final levels have very strong enemies. up until now, they're not very necessary. So if you're playing on the PlayStation 1 or the Sega Saturn, you'll see that there's a save crystal in the top left, but we don't need to get that just yet. But we can use this save crystal on the pillar here instead. And then you can get ready for the first of three encounters with Pierre in this level. Not only that, but all three of them. But all three of them are in a very, very tight space so make sure you stay behind him. So you'll be on the right here. If he starts to run away, just stop shooting at him. Otherwise he'll start shooting at you again. There you go. So now that he's gone, jump across here, and then take a running jump to collect a large medipack and shotgun shells. If Pierre isn't starting to annoy you already, then he will do by the end of the level. But it's okay, because in the next one, we finally get to kill him. But until then, we have to wait. So make a standing jump back here. And then jump and grab up to collect this small medipack. Now run up this slope and pull up to find the first secret. Make your way up these ledges and then collect the three shotgun shells here. So you've got one here. Then slide down, jump and grab to collect the other two. Now we have to take a small amount of unavoidable damage here, which is a shame, but it's not too bad. Now we can climb back over here. Now don't pull the lever that's in this room, because it will flood the system, and we don't want to do that just yet. Instead, we want to collect two rusty keys, then two silver keys. So make sure you kill those rats before jumping in the water, because there's no other opportunity to, and you can't get back out unless you come all the way back round into the room again. 
swim through here, try to avoid the rat. Climb up. And then shoot. Yeah, once you've got the, the silver keys and the gold key, you can then leave the level. So you can either drop down onto that block there and do a standing jump to the key, or you can just walk to the ledge and do a running jump and grab to collect the first rusty key. And then kill the two rats that are down here. Before shimmying across and safely dropping down just where they were so you don't take any damage. Now you can slide down this slope and use the save crystal that we missed earlier. As you come down, take care of the rats that we didn't kill, unless you did earlier. And then try to provoke two crocodiles out and take care of them now, which will save you the trouble later. So now we want to make our way back up to where we shimmied across, but instead we're going to climb up on top and collect the second rusty key. So you can do that by coming up here. And climbing up. And then after that we're going to find Pierre a second time, possibly the hardest one in this level. So just drop down here and return to where we entered the level. Now you can see two doors, each with a lock that need a rusty key. You can open both doors now if you'd like, but you can only progress through the left door unless you flooded the cistern earlier, but we're doing it in this order because it's a lot more efficient. So when you come in here, there's going to be two gorillas that spawn. So you can either take them on in the small room, or you can just climb up here and shoot them from where they can't hurt you. Make sure you don't jump over to the ledge ahead though, because Pierre will spawn then, and that will make your life a lot harder. So, I recommend using a stronger weapon for Pierre in this room, but if you are going to use your pistols, stand on the far left tile here, and then run onto there, roll off the edge and pull out your pistols, and then fight Pierre, like this. There you go. Let him run behind a pillar, so he disappears. Again, don't forget to stop shooting at him every now and then to actually give him a chance to run away, because if he, if he is running away but you start shooting at him, he might turn around and hurt you again, which can just make the, light even longer, the fight even longer than it needs to be. So now make your way along here, and there's two different methods for this. You can either walk backwards against this ledge, walk forward, and then do a backflip, but that doesn't usually work for me. Instead what I do is walk to this ledge, hold the walk button and walk back one step, and then do a swan dive forward, which you perform by holding walk and then doing a standing jump forward. You'll then land and be able to pick up the magnum clips. 
and then you can make a running jump back to where you were. Now that's probably the hardest part of the level out of the way. You can relax for the rest of it, even though it's very confusing because I'll be telling you the way to go. So after you've climbed along here, you can slide down here. But don't slide right to the very bottom yet, otherwise a lot of crocodiles will spawn. So if the first crocodile comes out, kill it from here, but sometimes he won't. Instead, you'll have to slide down the slope and quickly jump to that block there where there's also a save crystal on the old versions. So when you slide down, another one or two of the crocodiles will spawn. So just make sure to take them out. There's the other one. And then before using the save crystal, just come around here. Take out the rat that spawns to your left. And pick up this large medipack. Now that you've done that, you can come up here and use the save crystal. And then slowly make your way up here. You have to do a standing jump from here, which I forgot. <laughs> there you go. Once you pull up, then do a running jump and grab to this one. And then do a running jump to this one and let yourself run off the edge and you'll land safely on here without taking any damage. Now you can shimmy along. And pull yourself up. And be very careful when you open this door because there is a drop right onto some spikes which will kill you instantly. So instead walk to the edge kill the rat that's just down there, and then do a running jump diagonally onto this block here, take out the second rat that spawns, and then drop down. Now you can drop down here, take out the rat, and then to your right you can take out this rat as well. Now it's very, very important that you do not jump into this water yet because you won't be able to climb back out and you'll have to swim all the way back round into this room which takes a very, very long time. Instead you want to climb up here then do a running jump over here climb up once again do a running jump onto here and then do a standing jump over to this lever and then make your way down again very very carefully because you want to minimize the amount of damage taken so do a standing jump then a running jump and then drop down here and then you can safely drop down onto this ledge without taking any damage. Now when you pick up this first silver key, Pierre's going to spawn just in the corner of the room there. So you're going to want to stand behind this block so he can't hit you, wait for him to come round and then fight him. There he is. Again, if you get nice and close to him, it shouldn't be too hard to just keep rolling behind him. And 
There you go. And now he should be gone. Now you won't have to worry about him until the next level. Which is a huge relief. Now there's not much that we can do in this room until we flood the cistern. But what we can do is take out one of the two rats by climbing up here and jumping and shooting. Which will just make our life a little bit easier when we return to this room. But if you can't kill it, don't worry, because they don't do very much damage if they do attack you when we get here later. There's one. It usually takes three shots from both pistols. The rat's being quite persistent in that corner of the room, so I don't think I'm going to get it on this run. But don't worry if you can't. It's alright at the moment. So now you'll find your way back in the main room. And we can swim through here for the second secret. And pick up these magnum clips. And then swim back out. You can swim either way. It's connected in a U shape, so there's no issue there. And then you can climb out back where the slope is. Now that we've done that, we can climb back up here. And return to the room where we first fought Pierre. And we can finally flood the system. <laughs> now, as you can see, the system is completely flooded. So, first we'll want to swim back the way we just came into the room with the rats take care of both rats collect all of your items and then you can use the save crystal to pick up these shotgun shells, this large medipack, and this small medipack, and then use the fourth of five save crystals here. And then pull this underwater lever that you can now access. To collect the second silver key. Upon retrieval of the key, you can now swim back out. And we now want to make our way over to the second door that opens with the rusty key that we decided not to open earlier because we hadn't flooded the cistern yet. No. Now there are some spikes down here, but when you swim through spikes they do absolutely no damage whatsoever, so you're completely safe. If you did come through here earlier and safely fell down next to the spikes, which is possible to do, just like when we collected one of the secrets in the... Um, Temple of the Skion, in, um, not Temple of Skion, sorry, in the um, Tomb of, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, come back up this way, and make sure you take care of the crocodile that spawns behind you. Um, the 
platoon where we got the first bit of the ski on. <laughs> That's the one I'm trying to think of. And um, yeah, you can fall down there next to the spikes and not take any damage. But if you do that in this level, you'll be stuck down there. And the only way to get back out is to load your last save or die on the spikes, resulting in you having to load the last save. So now that we've finally collected everything that we need to here, we can make our way over. To the large ornate door. Now as you can see the block on the left has a little gap. That's because this block's pushable. <coughs> Tomb of Qualapec. That's the one I'm on about. Right and now we've got the third secret. We can jump backwards on the slide and climb up. Eventually, there you go. Pick up the magnum clips and the large medi pack. And then make your way back down, which Lara doesn't want to jump over the balcony. <laughs> Sometimes she she does, sometimes she doesn't. And you can now use the two silver keys that we retrieved. No. Now we can pull up here and use the fifth and final save crystal. You can also see a gorilla who's mysteriously standing there but not actually moving, which is a little bit strange. But the gorilla will move when you get close. So you can either take it on there or what you can do is you can do a running jump, roll and run back and then shoot it from over here. Just be careful that it doesn't knock you about when you're on the way back, otherwise it can cause you to fall down. After taking the gorilla out safely, you can now use the golden key on the golden lock. But do not jump back down yet, because two lions are going to come out. Instead, just make your way over here and take care of the lions from safety. If they aren't coming out and you're getting a bit impatient, don't worry, you can chase after them, just be careful in the next room as there are a few tiles that will fall underneath your feet onto some spikes. So that one to fall there is safe, as is this one. This one will drop you onto some spikes, and this one will drop you onto a small medi pack, which can be quite hard to see under the rubble, but take my word for it, as you can see there, there is one. Now all that's left to do is you can either pull this lever and let three lions out, or you can wait to get up onto the balcony and take them up from take them off take them out from up there. But I'm just gonna do this and jump onto this block because you're completely safe up here. Take out all the lions. Now there's not actually anything in that room that we need. So all we have to do now 
is to pull out this block and you can finish the level. But before we do that, we're going to instead pull the block even further so we can jump up onto the balcony. So keep pulling the block all the way until you can't anymore. There you go. And then run behind it and push it one more time. Now you can finally climb on top of it. To then jump and grab up here. And now, for the last two kills of the level, you actually need to run up onto this ramp for the two rats to spawn. And then you can collect the large medipack. And the last two magnum clips of the level. And then we're done. We can finally leave. So you can either drop down onto the block, or you can come over here, which is where you would have been able to stand to take out the three lions. And then if you did come this way first, that lever there is just to open the door. And then can leave the level all the way down here with 34 kills and 28 pickups. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one where we finally get to take care of Pierre.